October 22nd, 1952 in West Homestead, Pennsylvania. Jeffrey Lynn Goldblum is an American actor and musician. Known for his iconic roles in films such as Jurassic Park, Independence Day, and The Fly, Goldblum has had starring roles on film, television, and on stage, and has also received cult status as one of the internet's favorite celebrities with countless memes and video clips shared across all social media. But you already knew that. So here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Jeff Goldblum. Number 10. He shares an acting coach with some Hollywood icons. Jeff first moved to New York City when he was just 17 to become an actor. He studied at the famous Neighborhood Playhouse under the guidance of Sandy Meisner, a renowned acting coach who trained some big Hollywood names including Steve McQueen, Naomi Watts, Sandra Bullock, and Jeff Bridges. Goldblum also lives his life by one of Sandy's doctrines, quote, it takes 20 years to even call yourself an actor and a lifetime to get better. Number nine, his distinct line delivery came by mistake. Other than perhaps Christopher Walken, Goldblum has one of the most unique deliveries when he is saying his lines in films. Many people credit this to one of his first roles in the 1978 film Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Goldblum was so nervous that he stumbled through his line that was, quote, I never thought they would come in metal ships. But Goldblum stammered through it, saying, quote, I, 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 I never thought they would come in metal ships. The critics loved his performance, and a legend was born. Number 8. He would write daily affirmations. Goldblum knew as a child that he wanted to be an actor, but he was nervous to tell anyone, so he kept it to himself. To keep himself inspired, he would write a daily message in the bathroom when he would take a shower. He would write on the shower door in the steam, quote, Please God, let me be an actor. Number seven, he tried to hire a prostitute as a young teen. On one television interview on the Graham Norton show in the UK, Goldblum told a story about when he was 13 and tried to hire a prostitute. He stole $5 from his dad's wallet and headed to the red light district of his town. He said during the interview, quote, I'd heard about the red light district so I took $5 from my dad's wallet and went there. After finding a woman, he said, On the way to the bedroom, I said, What time is it? I looked at my watch and said, I've got to go, but I will come back. He didn't. Number six. He had two life firsts on the same night. When Jeff was 18, he made his stage debut in a production of Two Gentlemen of Verona. He was in the chorus. He also admits that on that same night, he lost his virginity after the cast and crew had dinner after the show. Apparently, it was with an older woman who worked in the costume department. That's a pretty good night. Number five. He once played keyboards with Aerosmith. Back in 1994, if you happen to catch an Aerosmith concert, there's a good chance you may have seen Goldblum playing keyboards on stage. Goldblum filmed the movie Nine Months with fellow actor and friend Tom Arnold. Arnold was close friends with the band members of Aerosmith, and Goldblum also met the band and became friends a year prior on SNL. During one concert, Arnold arranged for Goldblum to be flown out to the concert where a backstage pass was waiting for him. During the end of the show, Steven Tyler invited Goldblum on stage to take over keyboards for several songs. Number 4. 
he had a problem with one particular scene during The Fly. One of Goldblum's breakthrough roles came in 1986 when he starred in David Cronenberg's horror classic The Fly. During this time, Goldblum was dating Gina Davis in real life and convinced the director to hire her as the female lead, but he may not have thought it all the way through. During one scene, Davis's character had a love scene with John Getz, who co-starred in the film. Reportedly, Goldblum was on set at the time and was not happy with what he was seeing. It got so bad that he was asked to leave the set. Number 3. He sold office supplies to prisons. Another actor, another odd job. Before his acting career took off, Goldblum said during an interview with Vanity Fair that in between roles, he had a job selling office supplies to local jails and prisons. He fell ill during the job and took that as a sign to quit and focus on acting. Can you imagine Jeff Goldblum selling you a pencil? I would literally buy all the pencils. Number 2. He co-founded an acting school. One of my favorite episodes of Friends was the one where Jeff Goldblum guest starred as a popular actor and gave Joey acting tips to improve his performance. Turns out he may have been drawing from real life. In 1981, Jeff founded and opened Playhouse West with a partner. After a while, Goldblum started teaching there. A couple notable students that he had were Ashley Judd and Jim Carrey. Number 1. He loves the social media attention. Goldblum has enjoyed a resurgence in popularity lately, especially with the creation of social media. He has become the subject of countless memes, jokes, rumors, and has become something of an internet icon. Goldblum realizes that an actor's popularity will come and go and considers himself very lucky to be getting so much attention lately. In fact, Goldblum frequently checks hashtag Jeff Goldblum on Instagram and shares and likes his favorite pictures.